Hey, what? Hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you got? I played your song because that song kicks ass. It's one of my favorites. You're glad what? She loves that song. It kicks ass. It kicks ass. ass. Yeah. Thank you very much. Can I say <laughs> ass at this table? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so there was a moment in time. Um, after light on, when uh, we were having discussions, we being me and management, with uh, with the label over what was going to be the next single, and uh, it was between two songs. It was between "Come Back to Me," which ended up being the second single, and this other song. Should I the other song? Other song. This is, a, this is a storyteller's thing, not a conversation teller's situation. But I love you. I love you. I love you as I look at the back of the room. I love you. <laughs> Alright, so between come back to me and this song that I'm going to tell you about in a second. Okay. And, uh... I wanted this song. I, I, I thought uh, it had more tempo, and, and uh, I, you know, I came from a rock background, so to me, this song felt a little bit more like my bread and butter. Uh, I lost that argument, which is fine. I still want to come back to me, and we're gonna play it later. Okay. Okay. Just, so if you like that song, don't leave yet. <laughs> you don't like that song. We've got others. Don't leave yet. Nick liked it. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I feel like you missed my hype now. Like when nobody else laughs, I need you to laugh. <laughs> hey, can you come up here and just laugh so that I can talk? Are you kissing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, can, you can't say that to me. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm laughing, but I don't care if y'all are now. <laughs> Alright, so this song, um, yes. you know, it was uh, my first record getting to write with some of the people I got to write with was just like musical hero flashcards. It was the same. Um, you know, my first writing session, I got to sit in a room with, uh, with Rain Maida, the lead singer of a band called Our Lady Peace. And, and that was huge. And then, like, my next writing session was with Kevin Griffin from Bevan and Ezra, and I was like... Wow. And then at one point, um, uh, we were on the, the, the Big Idol tour, and uh, we had to stop in Buffalo, New York. And I said, hey, you're going here. Go to this address. Said, okay. And I show up, and there's Johnny Resnick from the Goober Dolls. You guys ready for a killer Johnny Rosen compression? Yeah. 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 So I walk in and he's all like, hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> cut to. Uh, we start. Not bad, not bad, not bad. This is super cool. Uh, so we start working on this song and, 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 and he had a, he had this, this kind of uh, riff that came together pretty quick. And, so I just, oh, I'm gonna try to turn that off. So, it was like, uh, this one. So we started playing that, and we kind of built this chord progression under it super quick. And, um, this song ended up coming together, like, the, the meat of it, relatively quickly. I think we ended up getting back together one more time and, and piecing the, the bridge together or something, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it is one of my favorite songs on the first record, and uh, I love that it, it came so close to kind of really having its moment uh, in the sound. But uh, instead, it's one of those things that you're really only going to get into if you come to one of these shows. People at home, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. 
see you at a show. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>